It's a tricky condition that mimics Alzheimer's, but NPH patients have three telltale symptoms, unsteady gait, memory loss, and frequent urination. There's a series of appropriate investigations that can take place so that you're not missing an opportunity to help. Doctors confirm NPH with a spinal tap. Then for some patients, surgeons insert a shunt into the brain to drain excess fluid. But that requires invasive surgery as surgeons drill into the brain. Even though many patients will significantly improve after a shunt and it produces a, a meaningful improvement in their quality of life, there's also a significant number of people that have a complication. Dr. Matuk is part of the first medical team in the U.S. to test a minimally invasive procedure yeah, to drain right. fluid called an e-shunt. Instead of going through the brain, surgeons insert a catheter through a small puncture hole in the leg and work inside the vein to reach the brain. That connects this pocket of fluid at the base of your brain into the, into the vein, the internal jugular vein in your, in your neck. An easier connection for patients, allowing the body to absorb the fluid and return to normal function. I'm Marty Salt reporting.